Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about how to set up your environment to do CS50 web programming with Python and JavaScript. So basically in this video we're going to talk about all the things you have to install, for example VS Code, Git, Submit50. We're also going to teach you how to enroll for the course, how to get the grade from CS50 and then you can earn your certificate, all right? And we also want to give you some hints of how to code. So for example, how to submit your code, how to send the videos for CS50 because they're only gonna grade you if you record a video. We're also gonna give you some hints, some uh, shortcuts while you're coding, all right? So this video will be really good. Another thing that we would like to highlight is that this course, it, it was made not for doing as the first course as a beginner. This should be a course where you're gonna do after doing an introduction to programming. So for example, here they tell us to do CS50 web after we finish CS50, all right? Or after you finish CS50 Python and at least did the weeks for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Flask. Because basically CS50 web, we're gonna do some projects. We're going to build some projects uh, working with both front-end and back and so uh, making everything visual in our in our website and also manipulating the data. So making a real website in this case. So it's really important that you already saw a little bit uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Flask. It's also important, but uh, especially the fundamentals of programming in this case using Python. Okay, so let's just start. Basically, if we want to start, we have to start here. You can see here the how to take this course. Okay, and they are telling us to create an EDX account. Here, like we can see, we have this start learning with EDX. You can register if you don't have an account, all right? You can put your full name, email, public username, password, and region, country. And you can create an account for free. In my case, I want to register using something that I already have. For example, my Google account. So I'm going to click in here, Google, and we're going to be redirected to this page. So I was trying to create my account with Google, but I'm going to create here in the regular way, all right? For example, I can put here Giovanna Proenza. The email is Giovanna SP under at doorscodingschool.com and you can select one name that you want to appear. In my case, I'm going to put Giovanna Proenza and then you can put a password. Okay, I put here one password and create an account for free. Okay, once you click in here, I'm going to store it. You can, we have to answer some questions. So, uh, highest level of education optional. If you don't want it to, you don't need. And I'm going to put skip for now. Okay, continue to EDX. I don't want to add things because I want to focus in our case in here. So now that we've created our account, we're going to enroll for the course. Okay, so you can search in here or in here and you're going to put CS50. And here it will appear CS50 Web Programming with Python and JavaScript. You can click and here basically you can click to enroll. All right, here it's telling that it starts September 12 because this is today where I am starting. But you have the course already. You can select if you want this, if you want to earn a certificate or if you want to have access to this course for free. Here both cases you're going to earn a certificate but one will be verified and the other one will be a regular. Okay, here in the EDX you have all the ways to reach out CS50, Dave Mellon and the staff if you wanted to. You also have an overview about all the things you're going to see during the course. So you have here all the lectures, the projects. In the end, we're going to have six projects. All right. Uh, basically, the first five will be projects here that we have to do. And the last one will be a final project that you can decide. All right. Then you can click in here in progress. And this is where you're going to see your progress during the course. You just need to click in this link and then you're going to see your progress. Right now, we won't be able to see anything because we have to link our EDX account with our GitHub. And we're going to do this in a moment. All right, so now that you have this in row, we can go back to CS50 and do the other steps. So now we're back to CS50 web programming with Python and JavaScript, all right? And before we continue the steps, I highly recommend you clicking here and to bookmark this page because you're gonna use a lot. So you just need to click here this star and it will appear here. So every time you wanna go to CS50 web programming, you just need to click here in your uh, favorite websites, all right? Now, I'm not gonna do the project, but I, will, I wanna help you to already uh, link everything you need to connect your GitHub with your EDX so you can receive all your grades. So in, the main purpose of this video is not solving this search problem. If you want, we already have the solution in our uh, in our channel, so you can take a look here. I will let here the card to click, okay? But now let's see the part of how to submit. So basically we need to join the course, clicking here in this Git to create the GitHub account and so on. So first we're gonna create a GitHub account if you don't have it, and then we're gonna click here in this link to continue, okay? So let's create a new GitHub account. Now you're gonna search on Google GitHub, okay? And we're gonna click in here in github.com, all right? Once we click in here, we can sign up. Let's create our new account on GitHub. And why GitHub is important? Because this is where we're gonna send our code and this is where CS50 is gonna check if our answers are correct or not, okay? Okay, so now you enter your email. Okay, I enter here my email, we click continue. We're gonna create a password. So in my case, I'm gonna create a password here. 
uh, it's a strong, that's fine. You're going to enter a username. In my case, I'm going to put Giovanna Proenka73, for example. Continue. And would you like to receive products, blah, blah, blah? I'm going to say no, because I don't want to float my emails. So here, please solve this puzzle to verify that you are human. Let's start the puzzle. And I Spiro Galaxy. One is done, and the other one is done as well. Okay, and now we can click create account. And now we have one account in uh, GitHub. So let's verify. Let me save this in here. So I just received here the code. Let's get. And we're going to put here on GitHub to verify. Okay. And code successful. Now it's launching here, initializing your dashboard. And we basically have the GitHub account right now. Okay. Now that we have our GitHub account, let's do this authorized CS50. So once we click here in this link, we're going to do the steps we need. So basically here we're going to click, I understand this, and we're going to join the course. So now that we have our GitHub account and now that we connected our GitHub with CS50, we're going to install our environment, the one that we're going to use to code, okay? And also we need to install the Submit50 and so on. Here they don't suggest us on which code space we should use. So I choose to use the code space that we were using for CS50, Python and CS50, all right? If you don't have this, let's do this together. So right now I'm going to show you all the steps you need to add this SSH and so on. So we're going to review some things that we did for CS50 Python. So let's just start creating here our code space. So in here, this will be the place where we're going to write our code. Okay, so we can click here, login via GitHub. Okay, we can authorize CS50Me, CS50 again. And now we are creating our code space. So this will be the environment where we're gonna start coding. Okay, and this environment we're going to bookmark. It's important that we bookmark here in our coding folder. Okay, so let's wait a second while it's setting up our code space and once it is finished, we can see what is going on. Now that we have the code space, we have to do these steps, creating the SSH and so on, to create a link now with our code space and CS50. So I know it's hard to do this right now, but this will uh, speed up our our life in the future. It will save us time. It's just some time, some work right now, but in the rest of the course, you don't need to do this anymore. Okay, it's only one time. So let's just start. So now this is loaded and let's start styling our code space. Here you can choose what will be the theme you prefer coding. I prefer dark, okay? So I think light is too white to code because we're going to spend some time in this code space, okay? And that's it. You can close this, get started. All right? So now let's start following these instructions that CS50 is telling us on item 6. So we're going to open up this link, GitHub Docs, uh, CS50 Docs, okay? And we're going to do all these steps. So the first one, open a terminal window, if not open already. Within CS50, blah, blah, we already have our terminal open. This is the terminal, okay? So what is the idea? Here in the, the bottom, we're going to, it's going to be the terminal, and in the top, it's going to be the file. In the future, we're going to see better how it works, but right now, at this part of the video, let's just understand the part of the terminal, okay? Execute this. Let's execute this command. When prompt to save the key, just hit enter without typing anything. So I copy this, this command and I'm going to paste in here. So to paste, CS50, uh, this terminal does not allow us to do Ctrl, Ctrl V or Command V. So you can right click in your mouse, okay? And we're going to say allow. Then you can click enter and it will generate a public private key and enter file in which you want to save here. It's just telling us to click enter the save key. So I'm just going to click enter. Enter Oops, let's see. You will be prompt for a passphrase. If you only use your GitHub account for CS50, no need to input a passphrase, just hit enter. Otherwise, in input a passphrase that you won't forget, then hit enter, then input it again, then hit enter. For security's sake, you won't see that what you type. You will then see a random marked image that you can ignore. I am going to just click enter because I just want to use my GitHub for CS50. So here you just need to click enter. Okay, enter same same passphrase again. Here we're going to click enter again because we don't have a passphrase. Okay, so the key random smart image is this one. All right, this is the key. Let's see what we're going to do. Execute blah, blah, blah. You will see your public key, multiple lines of seemingly random text. Highlight and copy all of those lines starting with SSH to the end. Do, but don't highlight your terminal window prompt which contain the dollar sign before or after. Okay, so first let's, let's try to do this command. So again, right click and click enter. This is the key that we're gonna use. So we're gonna copy everything until this SS H R S S A. So I'm gonna do Ctrl C. Okay. And now visit GitHub settings key. Login in your GitHub username and password as usual. Don't use the passphrase you just created, if any. So now we're gonna open up GitHub again using this hyperlink. And what we need to do? Uh, login. Okay. So now click new SSH key. Let's click in this new SSH key. 
all right execute sorry paste your public key into the text box under key optionally input a title under title so we don't need to paste anything here in the title and here we're going to paste what we copy in the terminal let me copy again because i think i wasn't able to copy let me see again okay i was able to copy i just highlight everything and i use it the right click okay so in here pass blah 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 i'm gonna paste everything okay click add ssh key let's click add ssh key now let's see the next step uh, execute this in our terminal okay let's execute this in our terminal so i'm gonna right click in here and click enter the authenticity of the of host blah blah, blah can be established they, this key is not known by other names. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? Let's see what they tell us. Enter yes and press enter if you see this following prompt. This is exactly what we saw. So we're going to say yes. In here, this is the same message. We're going to say yes and click enter. And then they are telling, hi, Giovanna, blah, blah, blah. You've successfully authenticated, but GitMob does not provide shell access. And let's see if this is the message we're expecting. Yes, this is the same message we are uh, waiting. You should be gr greeted with perfect. If you don't see that, review the steps above. So basically in here, we are connected. Okay, so now we're able to start coding. Okay, this part of setting up our code space is that. I know it's not so nice. It's not easy to understand why we're doing this, but it's important. This is one step only. We don't need to do this again in the future if we want to code we're just going to do this right now and in the future we are free to do whatever we want okay so now let's see in here execute update 50 in your code space terminal window to ensure that your code space is up to date if prompted click rebuild now so we're going to copy this and we're going to put here in our terminal and it's going to update now that we have this okay rebuild now this warning message rebuild and now it's going to rebuild our code space knowing creating this connection between github and cs50 course okay so the hardest part and tired the part that i don't like much we finish okay now we can focus in on other important parts okay so i'm gonna wait this in here and in the future we can really check if it's working or not okay so now that we saw how to download our how to have the code space to code and also so how can we use this now we're gonna see how can we submit a project i'm here again like i said in the search project so how can you do this basically using the code space do you see here the item three we just need to copy the submit 50 web 50 projects 2020 x search you have to enter in the directory of your project so for example here i have the project search and i only have one file all right the goal of this website of this video is not showing how to do search all right so i'm not gonna show here how i did search but i want to show you how to submit this project and and the other one so basically you just need to grab that message that is highlighted in the website and you need to paste okay since you already have it, your code space connected with your github it will already verify for you and, and already connect for you and authenticate so this is really good and here they are telling us to authenticate verifying and preparing and now they're asking us for poly policy of uh, academic honesty you say yes i'm not gonna say yes because my project is not submitted i don't want to submit this project right now but once you click yes in here and you say enter it will send the project for you okay then this is not the only thing you need to do for cs50 web now you have to do one extra thing so you have to record uh your project all right demonstrating all the specifications then mentions and you must add a timestamp in the video okay so how can you record your screen we're going to show you how can you record your screen for this purpose so we're gonna now teach you how to install Loom. Loom is a platform where you can record small videos at maximum five minutes and it's free. So you're gonna record your video and send a link to someone. So let's see how it works. So to do this, we're gonna open up a new tab and we're gonna search for Loom, L-O-O-M, okay, Loom. And in here, we can uh, click in this www.loom.com, okay? And here you can create an account, get Loom for free, we can create an account together as well. So for example, I want to sign up with Google. I'm going to create here an account. I'm going to select my email. I'm creating an account. I agree with the service. And now we're able to have our code. Okay, for personal use, you can you can answer, answer some questions. Great, this will be the name of my workspace. Uh, I don't want to collaborate with anyone. And here, do you see install Chrome extension? We can install this Chrome extension. So we can click in this button and we're going to be redirected to install the Chrome extension. So to install, you're going to click here, add to Chrome, add extension, and it will appear in here once it is downloaded. So we are adding to Chrome this and let's wait a second how it works. 
And like we can see in here, now we have this icon in our extension, so we have Loom in our extension, okay? So for example, you can start recording in here, you can click in here, new video, it will give you the setup, record a Loom, for example, and you can use the extension, we're gonna see how to use the extension in a second. In here, if you wanna record a Loom, you can click, click in here and start, but we can start recording from this tab if you want, for example, oh, I have one question in this part, you click here in extensions, Loom, and it will load here the tab to start recording and in our own loop. So you can allow using the camera, the microphone, and you can start recording. You have five minutes free. Once you finish this five minutes video, it will stop instant, uh, instant, okay? Because this is a free account. So we can basically use Zoom for this. Okay, so once you record your video using Loom, you can, you're gonna be redirected to this page, all right, where you can see the video that you just recorded and you can share your video using two ways. You can click in this button here called share and you can share using social media or something else. Or you can see here in this icon where when you hover it appears the message copy link and you can send this link for whoever you want, all right? And if you are a member of our Telegram group that is exclusive for our students and where you can ask any question and we're here to help you check the description below you just open up the group on telegram and you can paste in here the link all right and we will be able to watch your question and answer you the best way we can all right so now that you recorded a video how can you grab the video here from loom and upload in your youtube channel so basically if you click here in more actions you can click to download all right this is just a test video i did but you can click here to download it will download in your computer and then you can create an account on youtube with the google account you already have and how can you upload a new file so here you can click in create and you click in upload video all right once you click upload video you upload the video that you want and you add the timestamp in the description okay that's pretty much what you have to do once you do this you're gonna it's gonna generate a link for you all right so you can get this shareable link you can select if you want to let unlisted like they mentioned public but you can't let, let it private okay then you're gonna grab this link and you're gonna add in the form in the next step we're gonna see okay so after recording your video, you should upload this in your in a YouTube, all right? They're telling you here, you can be unlisted or public, but it can't be private, all right? And you need to add, like I mentioned, the timestamp of all the specifications you're showing. So this is an example of one video, okay? And basically here, he put the, out the timestamp for everything he did, all right? So for all the specifications he had here, the timestamp, otherwise you won't get the grade, okay? You probably fail here the test. Finally, once you upload the video, once you record, don't remember to not exceed, exceed five minutes in length and to add a timestamp then we need to click in this last final part that is submit this form and what are we going to do basically we're going to add your you're going to add your email your name your edx username so the the name in your account on edx the, your github username and then you have to say that you understand that you didn't do any plagiarism and so on then here you need to put the url for the short video you recorded okay then you need to say yes that you submitted correctly and all of these answers and then you just need to submit and only when you do this final step you're going to be graded by cs50 okay so don't forget to follow all of these steps this is pretty much what we had to show you if you have any question you can send here on a comment if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye if you would like to have full support from programming expert via telegram group and group coaching check the description below